Now, of course, I'm sure you've all heard about Carmina by now. This came out in 2023. So, of course, people have had the opportunity to sample this one and, and play around with it and get a feel for it. But this is a May Rose based fragrance. And one thing to be said about the brand Creed is that they do manufacture some pretty high quality fragrances. And that is typically reflected in the price point. So I know on the men's side of things, a 3.4 ounce bottle can set you back about $500. Well, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on Carmina. Carmina by Creed. I'm going to tell you what I think as far as the smell, performance, longevity, and all that good stuff. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on Creed Carmina, I'm going to tell you what I think about this fragrance in the totality that I can muster up. I'm going to talk to you about the smell, longevity, performance, comparisons, how it evolves on my skin, so on and so forth. But I want to start the video off first by saying if you're interested in fragrance related content, if you like videos like these and if you love smelling your best, hit subscribe, hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. Now, of course, if you want to sample this fragrance, you may do so at places like Scentsplit. I use them quite often. It just makes the whole process easier because you want to wear fragrances on your skin. You want to try them, see how they interact with your pH. You want to see if the performance of the fragrance is up to snuff for you. So at the end of the day, you're not just going to spend hundreds of dollars on something just to see that it turns sour on your skin or whatever. So Scentsplit is a fantastic place to get affordable alternatives to more popular fragrances, whether that be a decant or what have you. Here we have black cherry, may rose, saffron. You have a little bit of incense in the dry down as well, a touch of olibanum, but of course it's nothing too prevalent or strong. This is Carmina. Now, I personally prefer Queen of Silk. Just right off the bat, I have to be honest with you. My preference is Queen of Silk. I really love that sort of incense-y passion fruit thing that's happening in there. It's so beautiful. And it's a bit more, dare I say, experimental. I think that they took more of a creative risk there, but as a rose-based offering, you smell this one, you can initially perceive the quality, it's so mesmerizing. And of course, if you love fragrances like Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Moll or Porpora by Tiziana Terenzi, if you are a fan of a lot of these really lush, high quality rose-based fragrances, you're gonna enjoy this one. Mohair or Mohair X-Tray by Nila Vermeer Creations. There's a lot of really beautiful rose fragrances on the market. Nevertheless, I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts on the smell in just a second. Let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation first. So right in the opening of this fragrance, as far as the smell is concerned, it is going to open up with this beautiful, lush, organic smelling rose ingredient. And it's one of the things that I really love about this fragrance. And of course, when it comes to the Creed brand, we have fragrances Aqua Fiorentina and Spring Flower and Wind Flowers and Queen of Silk. And we have a lot of really beautiful women's offerings, but this is the first time that they did rose like this. So again, when we get something with originality and uniqueness and something that really stands out among the brand's vast catalog of olfactory offerings. I mean, we have to take it, right? And it's like, okay, great. I'm glad you guys put this out. And indeed I am. This is a beautiful rose-based fragrance. The May Rose in here is so juicy, so lush, and it really just comes across smelling very expensive. Now, as far as that black cherry ingredient is concerned, it's not sweet, it's not syrupy, and I think we've kind of been conditioned to expect fragrances like that, especially if you're thinking about Venom of Love by Navitus Parfum, or Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, or the Cherry Offering by Room 1015, the name of it alludes, Cherry Punk I think it's called, they also have an extra. So there's a lot of syrupy cherry fragrances on the market that come across smelling very sticky, very viscous. This one, it has a little bit of that sweetness in here, and you can tell there's cherry in here, but it doesn't dominate the composition position and neither does the incense. So when I think of frankincense, for example, you know, it has this lemony pine aroma. I'm not necessarily getting that from this fragrance. It does, however, open up a bit earthy, but initially you're not sure where those earthy tendencies are coming from. What I can tell you is it has this very smooth, elegant, sort of um, understated 
approach about it. It's not as outgoing and as va va voom as something like Queen of Silk, and it's also not as shy or timid as something like Windflowers, right? Which is a very sort of soft and soft spoken composition. This one is right in the middle. It conveys elegance, it conveys sensuality. And I think for that reason alone, a lot of women will be put onto this one and they will consider it to be one of their favorites. Now, of course, this is a fantastic time to wear this one. I think spring and fall are really ideal. Summertime, you wear wind flowers, you wear aqua fiorentina. Wintertime, you wear queen of silk. And of course, if you wanna put on something like Delphinus, which in my opinion is unisex, from the Amber Universe, the two new ones, Centaurus is the more masculine leaning one in my opinion, but this one is fantastic for the fall. So if you're interested in picking it up, you will find some really affordable options out there. If you are afraid of counterfeits, I would be too. Creed is one of the most counterfeited brands out there. You can opt for, you know, a major department store or just look around online. If I find any links, I'm going to drop them down below. But thank you so much for watching. Let's finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, in my opinion, yeah, this is a very unique fragrance. There are a lot of rose-based fragrances out there, but it's all about how they're blended and what other ingredients are thrown into the mix to characterize the rose and embellish it and do something really special with it. So the saffron and the earthy tendencies, the cherry in the opening, a little bit of pink pepper that actually adds an, a more diverse rosy personality to the May rose. All of these things are wonderful. Longevity, eight plus hours on my skin, projection and arm's length for the first hour of application, elbows length scent right around hour five or six. So longevity on this one and performance, very, very good. Versatility, spring and fall are the best seasons in my opinion. I would wear this one formally. I think this one might appeal to somebody a little bit older and I do think that it's feminine leaning for sure. And as far as the presentation is concerned, the name is beautiful, Carmina. It's such a beautiful name. And the presentation on this is gorgeous as well. It's a 75 mil. My final verdict on this fragrance is it is a fantastic rose-based offering from the House of Creed. It's something that the brand needed and I'm so glad that they put it out. Thank you for your patience. It took me like a year to review this one, but better late than never, I suppose. And it just means that I've had the opportunity to spend more time with it and I've gotten to understand the fragrance and the DNA a bit better in the interim. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you took something of value from today's perfumery re review. If you did, let me know what you think. Drop your comment down below. And also if you enjoyed this video, Video in any way, it would be so helpful to the channel if you would click subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again so much for joining me. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.